Thank you to the University of Hawaii Cooperative Extension Service Program Team for allowing us to take part and take charge of your money for. Aloha, my name is Tai Nohara, and I'm the Hawaii Securities Commissioner with the Department of Commerce and Consumer Affairs Business Registration Division. Also joining me today is Amy Hudson, the Senior Securities Enforcement Attorney who oversees the Securities Enforcement Branch. Prior to being the Securities Commissioner, Amy and I have worked together in the Securities Enforcement Branch for several years. In addition to investment fraud and securities violations, we have seen a wide range of financial scams and fraud impacting our community. If you are aware of an investment or financial scam, we strongly encourage you to report it. Our three focus areas are regulation, enforcement, and education. How we regulate. Broker-dealers and their sales agents, investment advisors and their representatives must be registered to do business in Hawaii. The public can call our Securities Compliance Branch at 808-586-2722 to check the registration of securities professionals. How we protect. The public can call or write to our Securities Enforcement Branch to report investment fraud or to file a securities violation complaint. On Oahu, call 808-586-2740 or toll free at 1-877-HIGH-SCAMS. How we educate. We have a very active investor education program which conducts community outreach statewide. Target audiences range from keiki to working adults to retirees and kupuna. The program provides free investor education and financial literacy materials via community events, group presentations, and direct requests. Now that we have explained who we are and what we do, I'm going to have Amy talk about how securities violations and investment fraud impacts Hawaii residents. A major threat to Hawaii residents is the risk of becoming a victim of a Ponzi scheme. To give you an idea of just how serious this risk is, I'm going to, first of all, describe what a Ponzi scheme is. Second, provide you with examples of cases we've had here in Hawaii. Third, tell you how you can report fraud. And finally, give you some tips to protect yourself. A Ponzi scheme is a type of financial fraud in which investors are paid returns and repaid principal from later investors. The name for this kind of fraud, Ponzi scheme, comes from a notorious swindler named Charles Ponzi. He operated this kind of scam in the 1920s in the United States. As with so many other Ponzi schemes that have been perpetrated since then, his scheme began with what seemed like a legitimate business plan. But in reality, his business generated no profits. New investors' money were used to pay returns to prior investors and, of course, to pay Charles Ponzi's own personal expenses. As you can see in our picture, investor A is an earlier investor and investor B is a new investor. Investor B invests money with the Ponzi promoter. The Ponzi promoter then pays a small portion of interest to both investor A and investor B and keeps the rest for himself or herself. Because of this, both investors believe that this is a legitimate investment. More recently, Bernie Madoff orchestrated the largest Ponzi scheme in history when he swindled $18 billion from investors. For years, Madoff lived a life of luxury, as did many of his investors. The major difference was that he was living off of the swindled money while investors falsely believed that they were receiving huge profits from investments they made through Madoff. In the end, Madoff lied to investors about false gains, among other things. And because of this, the financial impact felt by victims was closer to $65 billion in lost gains, which really never existed to begin with. Charles Ponzi and Bernie Madoff scammed a lot of investors. Despite their downfall and the publicity of these schemes, there are new schemes popping up every day around the world. But for now, I'd like to tell you about some cases that have hit closer to home right here in Hawaii. 
The first example of a Ponzi scheme that we investigated is Aloha Trading Inc., operated by the husband and wife team named Perry and Rochelle Griggs. The couple convinced their victims that Mr. Griggs was a financial wizard. They guaranteed victims that he could trade their funds on the commodities market and earn them great profits risk-free. The Griggs managed to swindle $2.4 million from 12 investors, nine of which were from here in Hawaii. The truth was that Mr. Griggs was completely inept as a trader, losing a substantial amount of money in the market. What he and his wife were good at was being highly skilled at deception. They spent over a million dollars of investors' funds perpetrating the Ponzi scheme by making payments to earlier investors and, of course, providing themselves with a lavish lifestyle. While the Griggs have since found a new home in prison, sadly, some of their victims have lost their homes as a result of the scheme. Another example of a Ponzi scheme that we investigated is Billions Coupons. The scheme was operated by Marvin Cooper, a member of the deaf community. Cooper claimed that he would pay investors 15 to 25 percent in annual interest. He touted this high-yield investment plan as being low risk. Using multiple scam techniques, Cooper convinced a total of 125 investors, all of whom also belong to the deaf community, to invest $4.4 million. He used his affinity to make connections within the deaf community and to seek out potential investors. Once he had interested investors, Cooper would use the scarcity tactic, repeatedly warning would-be investors that space was limited and that they should invest now. The scheme also involved a pyramid scheme type structure where current investors were encouraged to recruit new investors with the incentive of receiving commissions. As if all of this weren't bad enough, the final layer to his scheme involved the true Ponzi scheme style of using monies from newer investors to pay previous investors. The results of these Ponzi schemes are certainly devastating to victims but the impact can be felt by their families, friends, and the community as well. Here are steps on how you can safeguard yourself and those you care about from fraud and where to report it. Before you invest any of your hard-earned money, call our Securities Compliance Branch at 808-586-2722 to verify registration of the investment professional and product being solicited or sold to you. Get everything in writing, including all materials and documents explaining in detail how the investment works, commissions and fees you will pay, and how and when you can get your money back if needed. Report investment fraud to our securities enforcement branch. Here are some additional tips on how to protect yourself from securities fraud before you invest. Beware of promises of unrealistic returns. If the returns sound too good to be true, they probably are. Do some homework to verify whether what you are being told is true or not. Diversify everything. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Understand your investment. If you don't understand it, don't buy. Don't sign blank documents. Anytime you sign legal, or financial documents, be sure the information is filled out correctly and accurately. Be sure to take copies of what you sign. Ask yourself, is this investment suitable for me? Always be mindful of whether an investment meets your financial goals and personal needs. If you believe you are a victim or are aware of a Ponzi scheme currently going on, report it to our Securities Enforcement Branch immediately. On Oahu, call 808-586-2740 or toll free 1-877-447-2267 or 1-877-HIGH-SCAMS. At this time, I will turn it back over to Ty. Thanks, Amy. We covered a lot of important information today. I would like to remind everyone that we have a lot of great resources available to the public. 
please feel free to contact our Investor Education Program to request materials, schedule a presentation, or to request an exhibit at a community event. For the latest news and updates on what we're doing or when we'll be in your community, please visit our website at investing.hawaii.gov and follow us on social media at High Securities. This concludes our investor education presentation on Ponzi schemes. Thank you viewers for taking time to learn about the Office of the Securities Commissioner. We hope you'll remember who we are, what we do, and how we can help. Finally, mahalo once again to the University of Hawaii Cooperative Extension Service Program Team for allowing us to be part of Take Charge of Your Money 4. We leave you with our contact information.